How's it going everyone? It is Pangino here and in today's video we're going to be covering one of the most important features in which you should be making use of on any gaming PC whether it's high end, low end, old or new. The following feature is going to allow you to control how much performance is going towards a certain application whether that be a game, background processes, so you're able to keep this very basic or go completely in depth and set how much performance certain applications can use whilst running in the background and how much performance games can use. If you're someone that has applications such as Discord, Spotify or web browsers open up in the background, you can set all of those applications to how many instances can be open and the performance it's allowed from your PC when other applications are open. So as always, if you do enjoy this video, please do consider leaving a like and a comment down below for the YouTube algorithm, with all of that and more coming straight after a message from today's video sponsor. Tired of seeing me activate Windows watermark, built a new PC, or just want to own Windows at a major discount, head over to WhoKeys to purchase a Windows 10, 11, Home or Pro OEM key at a major discount. Make sure to use code PAN20 for a further 20% off at checkout, where you can use a safe and secure payment methods such as PayPal. Once your key is delivered, simply input the key inside of Windows and boom, you're now completely activated and own Windows forever. You'll now have access to all features and no more watermark. Thanks again to WhoKeys for sponsoring today's video. So jumping on into the optimizations, the features we're going to be making use of can be found inside of the Windows Task Manager, but I wouldn't recommend using the Windows Task Manager for this video. Instead, I would actually recommend to use the Process Lasso application. It's free to download, easy to obtain. You can either Google it or use the link in the description down below. Now there is a paid for version of this program, but you do not need it to follow any of the steps in this video. The free version of the program will do more than fine for the options in which we're going to be using in today's video. All changes in which you make and set with inside of the application are only applied when the application is open, but they are applied then automatically when it's open. So if you want to change anything with inside of Windows Task Manager, such as your CPU affinity or processor priority, you would have to manually do that every single time you open every application on your PC. Whereas with Process Lasso, this is done all automatically when the program is opened and you have a ton more features available to you, which we're going to make use of in this video. If you'd like to be on the extra safe side before doing anything, there's no reason you have to do this, but if you want the peace of mind, head down to the bottom left hand side, type restore, select create a restore point. Inside of this tab, scroll down to your local disk C drive, hit configure. Make sure the turn on system protection is enabled, set the maximum usage to about 5%, then select apply, then select OK. Navigate down to create, and you can simply name the restore point. Once it's named, select create. After a few short moments, a Windows restore point will then be created, which you can then use after this video if you wish to revert everything back. So before we do anything, we first of all need to obtain the program. For this, you can simply use Google or use the link in the description down below. Once you find yourself on bitsum.com, navigate down to process lasso and select download free. Once that's done, select open, select your language, select OK, agree, next, next and install. Once you boot into the program for the first time, we're going to be going over some quick basic settings just to set up for the application and we'll then jump into the individual application settings for your background apps such as Discord, any games and what you should set those settings to. Start by navigating over to main in the top left, navigate down to your active power profile and if the power profile for bit sum highest performance is available, I would definitely recommend using this new profile, especially if you're using Process Lasso. The only time I would recommend not using this profile is if you're a laptop user and you typically use your laptop whilst it's not plugged in as this will drain your battery life relatively quick. With that selected we can navigate over to options, refresh interval GUI or GUI and we're going to set this to 5 seconds. Refresh interval governor is also going to be set to 5 seconds. With that completed you can then navigate down to the memory section. Inside of here you can choose to enable smart trim and there'll be a brief description on the right hand side of the screen as to what this does so you can make a decision if you want to use it or not. And if you would wish to do a manual trim on your memory you you can simply select this button and it will do a one-off trim on your memory right now. Heading down to power, going to performance mode, and I'd recommend changing the power profile when engaged, enabling automatic detection such as Steam, and disabling idle saver whilst performance mode is engaged. If you would like to jump into some more advanced settings with inside of the section, you can navigate down to control, where you'll then have a few handy options available to you, such as the disallowed processes section. Now I'm not going to show you how to use this in this video, but if there are any processes on your PC that you do not want to be running and you would like to force them off no matter what, you can add them within inside of this application. And that's going to be it for the basic settings within inside of this program. We can now navigate down to the All Processes section where we can then see all of the applications, drivers. Before we change any of the process and application settings within inside of the app, you can actually create profiles within inside of the application so you can load individual profiles which will change the priority of some apps depending on what it is you're doing on your PC. If you don't create a profile, that's fine. All of the settings will be applied system wide whenever the application is open. It means you could have a gaming profile, an editing profile, and then when you don't want to use any of the profiles, you can just simply have the application closed. If you would like to create a profile to make the changes with inside of that profile only, navigate up to File, Config Profile, Create Config Profile, then simply name it. We can call this one Gaming, then select OK. 
select file, config profile, gaming. Once that profile has then been selected, any settings you're going to set with inside of this application will be directly set on the gaming profile only. And to switch through profiles, just navigate up to file, config profile, and just switch to a different profile at any time to change those settings back on the fly to your different profiles. Another quick fix inside of here that everyone should apply regardless of how good or bad your PC is, is to navigate over to the all processes section, process name, so the processes are then aligned in alphabetical order, and scroll down until you find audio dg exe. If you often experience audio stuttering, crackling, or strange audio quality, right click on audio dg.exe, go to CPU priority, always, and set this to high. Right click again, CPU affinity, always. We're then going to select CPU affinity at the top, select clear. We're not going to be selecting CPU zero, so any other CPU core that's an even number, select at random. I'm going to be choosing CPU 12 then select OK. So before we jump into the processes themselves, you now want to apply a typical load to your PC. So if you're a gamer, at this point, open up one of your favorite games that you typically play. If you tend to have Spotify, Discord, or Google Chrome open in the background, load up those applications again. Head back inside of Process Lasso. At this point, we can now navigate over to the Processes tab as we can then apply some optimizations. We first of all want to apply optimizations to the game application itself. To navigate over to the CPU Percentage tab, click on this twice until the processes with the highest amount of CPU usage are listed at the top. Here you can see Valorant is running for me, but this will work on practically any game. Once you find your game, start by right clicking, head over to CPU priority, always, and set your game to high priority. If you find when you have a very demanding game such as Warzone, Apex Legends, or any other CPU heavy title open, if you find that Discord voice lags and you can barely use it, I would not recommend setting your game to high priority and instead go with normal. But for most people, go with high. You can navigate over to IO priority, always high, right click again, navigate down to induce performance mode. With that then selected, we can then apply one of the best optimizations to most games for both Intel and AMD Ryzen based systems. And this can be found inside of the CPU affinity tab, navigating to always, and you'll find all of your CPU cores available with inside of here. You'll also find the options for disable SMT or disable hyperthreading if you're on an AMD or Intel system, as this could net you a ton of extra FPS. Disabling SMT or hyperthreading will disable the virtual cores on your CPU and will force the game to only use the physical cores on your CPU, reducing overall render latency and improving performance on practically all games. There will be some games which will still prefer to have SMT or hyperthreading enabled, but it's super quick and easy to turn this option on or off by simply tapping out, pressing the button, seeing if you see an FPS improvement, and if you don't, just re-enabling the setting. Taking a quick note of what your in-game FPS roughly is, tabbing out of the game, heading over to CPU Affinity, always, and selecting either disable SMT or disable hyperthreading. With that then selected and set, tab back inside of your game and have a look at what your FPS FPS is like. Have a quick play around for a few minutes, make sure that you aren't introducing any micro stuttering into the game, and if things feel good, keep that option enabled for the foreseeable future. If at any point you decide you want to revert that setting back to its default setting, right click on the game you set it for, head to CPU Affinity, always, then just select none, and that will revert all of that back to stock. Another quick FPS boost on some more CPU demanding games is to right click, head to CPU Affinity, always, and actually unselecting CPU zero. Because most processes with inside of Windows will only typically run on one core or or one single thread. In this case, this will nearly always default to CPU zero, which most of your games will defaultly use as its primary core, meaning that CPU zero is typically hit harder than any other core in your system. To disable one single core, just simply select the core you want to disable. Once you've clicked it, go ahead and check by clicking always, and that should then be unselected. Again, to reselect the core, you would just simply click the button. Now, once the game itself has been boosted in priority and you've assigned the correct cores to it and found if you're using SMT, hyperthreading or not, we can then optimize our background applications to lower their priority or take some additional load off of your game. Again, this is definitely recommended to be using a gaming profile found up here in the file section before changing this for all applications on your PC at all times. So for me on my gaming profile, Valorant has now been boosted to higher priority and I've disabled SMT. What I can then go ahead and do is I can then find the Discord application, right click on this, go to priority, always, and I'm just going to set Discord to either normal or in some cases below normal. But if you typically stream on Discord or watch other people's streams, this could lower the priority whilst you're playing games games, so if you do experience any lag, just come back with inside of it and select none to set this back to default. I'm going to be going with normal for Discord, and then going to scroll down and find Spotify, where I'm also going to be setting the CPU priority to always normal. And for the background applications as well, for more advanced users, you can also go to CPU Affinity always, and you can manually disable some of the cores from your system being used by these applications. So you could in theory set Spotify to only be able to be used by one or two of your CPU cores if you really 
wanted to. Once that's done, go through all of the other background applications, which typically hog performance, and manually set the process priority of those applications, and limit the CPU cores to them if you wish to do so, but there will be more experimentation around that setting to see if it's actually going to be beneficial for you on your PC. So I've now switched over to my Intel 12th generation based PC, which has both performance and efficiency based cores, in which we can use with inside of Process Lasso to demonstrate some of the possibilities on an architecture like this. For instance, we have PUBG open in the background, which I can find with inside of Process Lasso. If I right click on the game, head over to CPU Affinity, always, select CPU Affinity, we can then see the E cores or efficiency cores which are marked here at the end, 12, 13, 14 and 15. You may have more or less on your system, but because these are much smaller and more efficient cores, they are not able to clock as high or render as efficiently as our performance cores, so we're going to stop our game from using these efficiency cores by unselecting them with inside of this menu. Once that's been selected, select OK. But that's only half of what's available with inside of here. We can do this for all of the games on our system to stop them using the efficiency cores, and what we can then go ahead and do is we can then start selecting programs such as Spotify, Discord, Steam. For this demonstration, I will quickly use Discord, right click on the application, head over to CPU Affinity, always. We can then select CPU Affinity, and what we can then go ahead and do is select clear on this list to stop it from using all CPU cores, and we can then force Discord to only use the efficiency cores. So now we have our game set up to use all of our performance cores, and we have all of our background applications only using our efficiency cores. Now again, your results may vary with this, but it just goes to show the availability of the optimizations available with inside of Process Lasso, so you can fully harness the performance of your PC and tailor that performance to individual applications where you seem fit. Select OK, and I'll then repeat that for my game application launchers, or just any other background applications that you don't find need to have access to the performance cores. Once that's then set up and out of the way, you can then tap back inside of your game and see if you've noticed any performance improvements. We can see that the optimizations have taken effect in the background because at the moment, in the main menu of PUBG, you can see that all of my performance cores practically have no usage, but the efficiency cores are being taxed quite heavily by all of the background processes, but they don't have access to the fast cores on our system. Again, depending on how many efficiency cores you have on your PC, this may not be recommended Recommended. And there you guys have it. If you have enjoyed this video and wish to see more optimizations for your PC that are available, consider checking out the two videos on screen now and let me know of your results in that comment section down below.